What's up everybody, Shoragnik here and welcome to the review of the Corsair M55 RGB Pro Ambidextrous Gaming Mouse. Now before I get into the video, I have only one thing to confess that where was I? I know you guys have this question in your mind. Where was I gone? Promising two videos a week. So some of my family members got COVID-19 and I was sent to my aunt's house for my own safety. And I admired the decisions made by my parents. So I was gone for like one and a half months, like more than that. And I came here about uh, three weeks ago, but I needed some time to give myself because I'm a school student and I had a lot of schoolwork pending. So I had to do all of that, finish all of that ASAP. And then I am here right now making videos. With that being said, let's get started. So this is the Corsair M55 RGB Pro Ambidextrous Gaming Mouse. A horrible name though. The first thing that comes in your mind by an ambidextrous mouse is how easy it is to use for both left and right handed users. It's an ambidextrous mouse. It's got side buttons on both sides, which can be enabled using Corsair's IQ software. And the IQ software is really good this time. Like uh, Corsair made an update like last February or March or so. And then the software just blew up like it was like this. And then this became this. So that's a big improvement. Major props to Corsair for doing that because before the IQ software was not really user friendly. So Getting to the mouse, the build quality is nice. It's 40 US dollars, so expect a build quality like 40 US dollars. Don't expect it to be $100 of worth of quality. It's got Omron switches, which are rated for 50 million clicks, standard Omron switches with a scroll wheel that's quite satisfying to scroll on. Not so satisfying like a $150 mouse, but at this price point, you can't really complain. It's got a DPS switch button above which you have a little LED which indicates the DPI levels and you can set that from the Corsair IQ software. So uh, the IQ software here I can see in my screen and I hope this is being recorded is that uh, the, you can set up to five DPI stages. Uh, all the five DPI stages by default are set as low to high. You can customize those with customizable RGB for each DPI stage that can be seen on that little LED that's present just above the DPI switch button. The DPI switch button is not that of a great quality though. I hope it was a little bit better, but for me, it is working fine. I'm using a white mouse in this case and white means that it will catch dirt so make sure you take care of that otherwise you will see a gray mouse after like three months of use it so at least try to clean your mouse of uh, every month so that you it doesn't catch dirt and also keep it away from inks and you know pens and anything that might you know catch the stain and will never go off because i did the mistake but hopefully this isn't residuing permanently. I hope that it gets, you know, gone because the actual clean, uh, actual uh, cleaning material that's used for cleaning this ABS plastic or PVC, I don't know what material they're using, but it's really high quality plastic. It's a really high quality plastic. It's got a 12,400 DPI sensor with a high lift off, which maybe an issue for some users out there keep in mind because if your mouse has a high lift off it may be an issue for you if you are playing at a really low dpi especially especially when you play games like csgo or dota 2 where you are at 400 dpi you really need that low lift off point but doesn't seem to be a problem for me actually gets the job done no props super high-tech sensor that's present in this $40 mouse, can't really complain. So there are side buttons on both the sides and you can use the IQ software to customize both the side buttons. Now, it really depends on the software that you are using that it may support all the side buttons of the mouse or not. If it, then congratulations, you are on the safe side. But if it doesn't, then the side buttons on the opposite side that you are using, maybe you're a left-hand user or right-hand user. So depending on that, you will have your opposite side respectively. You won't be able to use all the side buttons. 
It's got rubber grips on both the sides and uh, the side buttons are placed a little bit above the thumb space. Some people prefer a little bit more thumb space, just uh, in a little bit gap between the thumb and side buttons, while some people prefer the thumb to be on the side buttons so that it doesn't really have to create a problem for them. For me, I can work with both of them, but having a little bit of more thumb space really works for me. Now, the cable is a braided cable. It's a high quality cable. I mean, super high quality cable, but it's too thick. I mean, this is not quite flexible, you would say, or you can't just, you know, just stretch the cable to make it little stretch, or you just can't curve the cable where you really want it to be because this is a really, really hot cable. You have to use it for about two to three months to be able to give it a shape that you want. Keep that in mind. And the only RGB that we see here, except the DPI button, is the Corsair logo. You can, again, customize it from the Corsair IQ software. And the Corsair IQ is a good software. It can take firmware updates, and I hope Corsair uh, fixes that high lift up uh, from a firmware update in the future because that has been a real issue, not for me, but for my friends who are using this mouse. With that being said, let me know down in the comment section below how you like the review of this mouse. And uh, if you ask me, this is a must recommendation, especially for the people who are on a low budget. And if you can get the white one, man, it looks pretty. Also, on the last video, I said that I will be improving on my audio quality. So let me know how my audio quality is right now because I have tried my best to do that. I hope it is a little better. I hope it doesn't catch that much of a background noise as it was doing before. That's it. This is Shoragnik signing off and I'll see you in the next one.